in this area. We've had some people who were aggressive toward us, you know, a little more than a normal person. You know, they've really flipped out. We got ahead. The blue Honda. It's the zooped up Honda. Okay, let's see if we can make the right move and get this guy. These fast and furious wannabes. Our film, I'm trying to hurry up. I'm hoping this will go on okay. I have some suspicion that that guy's window open playing the music. He might be the owner. Makes me try to work a little bit faster. I don't know who the owner is, because there's a lot of people out here. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. I have to use a big one. That uh, Universal is not gonna fit on there the way it is. It's a wide tire, and that's why it won't go on there. I hate having to change boots because it takes so much extra time. And now I'm hoping it'll tighten enough to you leave it. The boot? Yeah. I thought the other one was on here. Now we have a major problem here. Neither boot is gonna fit on here. <sighs> so we might as well just call for tow truck. No, I just bought that car. Is he talking to us? I don't know. I just bought that car. B604, we have an unbootable, and we need a uh, tow truck or release person to sit on this. So why is you putting a boot on? I just purchased the vehicle. Parking tickets. It's I just bought the car. I'm on my way to go get the title and everything down now. It's parking OK, well, it's you're going to have to tags. take care of the, the uh, transfer and get down to 913 Filbert, and they'll release your car. Why is you putting a boot on it? I just walked in the door from buying the car. You see the for sale sign? I don't even have the title in my name yet. I'm on my way to go do it right now. OK, well, we have to go buy the tags on the car. Uh, yo, can you take that boot the f off, dog? If you don't take it off, I can take it the f off. OK, well, if you do that, you're going to have to deal with the police for that. Lock me the up. I got money, I bail right the out. What the All you gotta do I got money, You see that right I got money, out of here. Well, I don't think we're gonna deal with this now. Ma'am, uh, could you send police to this location? He's talking about getting tools to take this off. Get that boot off my I'll beat out of both y'all. Yeah, we're waiting for police. We're not going to fight with him over a car. If he takes the boot, if he destroys the boot, he's going to be in for a fat missing boot fee. Uh, B604, can you try and see if you can expedite police to this location? Any my rims up? The man is trying to get the boot off, and we're going to have a problem here. Can you uh, get police over here? Give me my keys. He's going to try to pull off with that boot. Is it off? It's in on the rim. If he moves it now, he's going to tear his car. It's not a good situation. The owner is very upset. He said he's going to cut the boot off. He just cussing, carrying on. Broke his <laughs> out of here. Money I got. <laughs> I make your paycheck in a day, bitch. <laughs> out of here. Ma'am, we're on location with the gentleman. He's got a uh, T-shirt and long shorts weighing about 250. I don't give a I don't no camera, Jess. I don't play, but go to the house, dog, for real. Got me up. I have no idea where he's going, but he's acting like some kind of crazy person. And I had a feeling we'd have a problem with this one. How you doing? This guy came out and he was real agitated. I got money. You 
see that right? Pull the boot halfway off. And you my rims up. He took off in another car. Thanks a lot. I think we're going to stay out of that block for, for a while. <laughs> Our film. Sound the lead. <laughs> yeah. Get the hell out of here. This one is. Oh. It's a hit. Oh, we on the roll. Keep it going. Good to see ya. He's done. Oh, this is great. I give you a number where you can call our department and find out how much is owed. This thing on the bull list. I just bought this car. The plate is not even registered to the car. Whoever owns that license plate is on the boot list. So if it's not your plate, it's not my plate. Okay, so you got somebody else play on yeah. your car? It's not my plate. Oh, that's a felony for having an improper that's plate. That's a felony. I mean, it's probably not even my plate. Improperly driving, we supposed to call the police officer of them found the car for improper plate. It's an improper plate. Let him pull it. He says that he put the wrong plate on the vehicle, and that's illegal. So we run our check first. They tell us whether or not to leave the boot on or take the boot off the vehicle. Well, anyway, I'm still running the check on the, on the, the tickets on first. Don't even come back to this car. Either way, the vehicle is gonna be impounded. Okay, but I ain't paying nobody else's tickets from the previous plate. That's not even the right plate. I just rather pay get a ticket for improper plate, which is seventy five dollars. And I'll take this boot off and go down to the impound yard and I'll pick it up. He owes over $1,500, so he would rather have the police tow it because it would be cheaper for him to get it impounded by DVD than to get impounded by us. Once we boot it, it's too late. BMW, being affirmative. The plate is on the party to someone in the same household, so we are keeping the vehicle. They're keeping it on, sir. The plate don't even go nine, to it. Three, nine, and on, on, and on top of that, I'm sovereign. I'm a sovereign citizen. I don't even need a plate. Say what? That means he's claiming that he's his own state, his own little country. He's trying to make himself so they would be above the law. What it is, to me, is just trying to get out of the boot. They're not taking it off, sir. The car's going to be impounded if the tickets are not paid. You need to call our department and find out how much is owed, sir. But they just told me to keep the boot on the car. Hey, hold on. I'm sovereign. The license plate go to some car that's connected to him. It must be one of his old plates. They're going to an older car. Two guys, you better going to be an immediate tow. Do not leave the vehicle. That's the problem. Now. I'm trying to call down here. Push zero for operator once the um, phone number comes on. He actually owes a substantial amount of money. So they're requesting another tow truck to come and tow his vehicle. So we just got to sit here and wait. But the plate don't even belong to this car, man. He's in the car now, trying to do anything possible to not take this vehicle. Oh, there's a police officer right there. Excuse me, sir. Hi, I think I got a feeling I'm gonna have to be calling 911 on this guy. I don't think he's gonna give it up easy. I think he's gonna give me a hard time. Let me ask you, man. The plate is not even registered to the car. They still tow my car. So you're saying all the parking tickets aren't yours? It's the other person that it's you other, bought it the from? It's plate. The plate is. The plate goes to another car. Right. So you're pretty much you're driving without uh, false plate on. Pretty it. much. <laughs> okay. Well, they're gonna tow it though. I'm so a sovereign I'm citizen. I'm traveling in my vehicle. Time. I don't even need a plate. He left the scene, but he's not gonna let it go easy. He'll be back before we take this vehicle. Yeah. All right, take it easy. All right. The wheels are locked. They're dragging the car. Hey, dude. Oh, you know you messed up my transmission. I messed up, transmission. I rolled the truck up under the car. How, how you gonna argue with me? Without the man office, bro. How the you still talking? First of all, you see the wheel, sir? Sir, that's it. That's it. You see the wheel, sir? Don't. You see the wheel, sir? Sir. It's on record. My transmission, y'all. Okay. All right. Go down and fill out the state. Thank you. All right. I knew he was gonna come back out. They don't even have a right to even tow my car in the first place. Detroit. We tried everything possible to stop that car from being impounded. And if we didn't do it, the police was going to take that vehicle. He owed the parking tickets. He shouldn't have been down here in the first place. How you solving you got an American plate on your car? That's just called in again. 30, 100, North Franklin. 
41 on location. Another live stop. Please pull somebody over. We're gonna pick up this car. stop sign that's blocked right there. I have insurance, I have a driver's license, but my registration I just got the title for, I didn't get a chance to get to the tag place yet. And now they're towing my car with my two twin boys that are four years old. Tag thing's supposed to be on that car. But you could let me drive away with a ticket for no registration, right? No. No? Okay. Now he's gotta go get his car registered and, uh. See if he gets his car back. He has a pretty nice car, so he's probably gonna come back for it. Okay, guys, let's go walk into the L now. All right, the back of the you have to get. Come on, let's go. The vehicle wasn't registered. It's just protocol for us to live stop at that point. You can't let him drive away with it. We'll take the L back home. Thank you. The stop sign's blocked up there. I got two young kids in the car. I'm not gonna be all right. They're gonna walk to the L now. Sad to see, you know, you had two kids, it's cold out, but he knows the deal. When your car's not registered, you can't drive it, so. If they would have let him go, him cops would have gotten in big trouble, or maybe lose her job. I feel bad for towing some cars. Like that, I feel bad, because there's two kids in the car, you know, it's cold out, but then I don't feel bad because I know I'm getting these cars that are illegal off the street. Once you get behind the wheel, it's your responsibility, especially if you have a car full of kids. You know, I have a family. I don't want to get myself into that situation. Sometimes I tend to forget how dangerous this job is. Adrenaline starts pumping. You start wondering if you're going to get it or somebody's going to come out. It's always a threat of balance. You got to be fast. Hopefully fast getting away, too. This one is a Buick. We're trying to hurry up to get the device on before they come out. I'm watching his back to make sure no one runs up on him. And I'm looking at everything around us to make sure he's safe while he's putting the boot on. They could be trouble. Okay, you being booted. That's, 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 this, this, this is my car. This is, this is my car, though. I understand that, sir, my car, but you though. parking tickets. The car ain't even registered. I just got it from the auction. I'm waiting for my title. This is my sister's tag. Well, whoever you got the tags from, they owe parking tickets. I can take the tag off. You that's not on. my tag. You're going to have to straighten that out down nice and filbert. This is not even registered plate. You cannot right? do that. This car, I'm waiting for my title. I put a tag on it so I can wait for my, See, my title to come back. The car's in my name. The tag is not in my name. I know. The tag don't even go to the we'll car. The tag so how do you put a boot on the car that the tag don't we'll go to? run the tags and come a boot. You're going to have to straighten that out with your But it don't come up to the car. I understand that. You're going to have to straighten it out with your because y'all just booted my car for nothing. Well, he's pretty agitated. That's not my tag. I understand that. But you're going to have to go to 9th and Filbert and straighten that out. How you should Let me explain. If I go down there, they're going to tell me I got to pay tickets for the tag now. No, no. And I ain't got a ticket gonna... on this car from that tag. If you'll calm down, I'll explain it to you. I watched y'all. Y'all snuck back around the block, and then y'all just hopped out on my car. No, I'm sir. watching y'all because I was about to come move it because I see what y'all was doing. We didn't know your car was a hit until it came back on the computer. We were already up around the block. I'm waiting for a title. Come here and let me show you something. All we can do is run the tag that's on the car. All right, well, can you, can you, can, so what can, you got to do, I'll explain what you got to do. You don't have to pay anything. Nobody's asking you to pay somebody else's ticket, but you have to show them in the court that you bought this car. See, I got to go to a courtroom and everything. See, you don't have to go to a regular court. You go down to 9th and Filbert, they'll run the tag that was on the car, they'll see that it was not you, and they're not going to make you pay somebody else's ticket. Yeah, they got a little upset. They claiming it's not their tags. Hopefully, Garfield can get through and calm them down. The car will stay here. You have time to go get it today. If you take care of that, you do not have to have it registered. But you got 30 days to have a car on the street. 
It says I, it on my paper. We got 30 days to have a I call understand that, and I'm not arguing that. When y'all punched up his tag, what came up? Look, all this shows is the license plate. This is just a laptop computer. Said, all it has is tags in it and whether they should be booted or not. But that tag is not my name. What he's saying, and I can understand, if he's just running by, he see the, the, the tag number and no make a model on it, then he, he just jumping out and say tag boot or no boot. So I can understand. It ain't really him. He doing his job. They done jack the system up. Right. So they jam you up. So they're what yeah. you can argue with him all day. He has no authority has to no do authority. it. Yeah, I know he don't have no authority. So we, it's just the plain. I, I, right. I know. I oh. know. And on Lancaster Avenue, we have law classes that teach you and educate you about these situations so that you don't have to get into them. And if you do get into them, it costs you zero to get out of them. Legally, as long as you bought the car, that's fine. But you're going to have to sometime get it registered. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's why I'm waiting for the title on the mail. You know, it's well, that's why six weeks. You need to get a sign on there saying waiting for tags, make a copy of your paint slip or whatever so that you can leave the car on the street. But if you're, if you're putting somebody else's tags on there, you don't know the history of that tag. I got a boot for her tag. For her tag. Well, it's a shame that she didn't say, Look, I got tickets. Don't put that tag on the car. Well, we're getting the boot on, and we're going to lock it up, and he's going to have to get it registered. I don't owe no parking tickets, but I got a boot on my car. There's definitely a difference between legal and law, and what's happening here is legality. It's paperwork. You have this company contracted with the city, assuming authority. Now you have a catch-22 with this brother here, Put the car out on the street, it's no plate. We gonna take it because it don't got a plate. You put a plate on there, they booted it because unlawful display of plate. You get the car from them, they take it right back from you, man. I feel bad for the guy because he bought the car legitimately from an auction, but you gotta get it registered. These kind of things are a funny gray area that needs to be worked out. Uh, so that we can flourish and build, keep the morale going instead of hurting the working class. It's hard out here for people, man. If you don't do nothing about it but complain, then you don't get nothing. Now, take your pink slip down and show them you just bought it. It was a little intimidating. The guy was pretty angry, but we calmed the situation down. And, you know, with eight or nine guys who were all agitated, this could have turned into something where we would need police. I gotta go down there now, huh? Yeah, I gotta go down there now, huh? So when you go in there, just tell them you want a boot hearing, and they'll hear you right away. Huh. If he don't take care of it by tonight, they will tow it by tonight. In my view, there are some flaws in the system, but we don't have the ability to change those flaws. And all we can do is to best help them understand that even though the system is flawed, it can be handled without anybody getting hurt. We have a hit. Uh, it's gotta be this guy here. We got a hit on this. Sherry's calling to make sure. She said it has a positive. All right. Y'all messing with this man? Yes, they old parking tickets. This is my neighbor car. He just been down here yesterday and took care of everything with his license yesterday. Okay, that's traffic court. Uh -huh. The parking authority is different from traffic court. Oh, okay. Can you leave a piece of paper or something? Yeah, I'm getting ready to leave one. I gotta uh, just, you know, write this up. Let me go see if my neighbor in here. Because he need his van. He is handicapped. Yeah. Why they boot my Yeah, that was like you, but the car don't make the man. What makes the man is game plan. Hey, yo. It's some kind of meter tickets or something on the tags, because we scan tags. I didn't do nothing. I just bought it, and the guy gave me the tags. I just bought it yesterday. I got, I, I still got the title. I ain't get it registered yet. I just bought it. It's not my fault, it's so why should I have the boot? I said, that's why whoever you bought the car from, yeah. you need to call them and explain to them that what happened, and they can call yeah. and pay. But how much is tickets for? I don't know, it's at least three, and each of them six months old, so maybe about $7,500. They don't have no consideration for the man handicapped. Now he can't get around. It's sad. All right, I get it took care of today. I think the worst stuff in that. You know, I got shot in 1990. I just thank God I'm still living. Karma got a gunshot wound. Still could do what I do. So, I ain't too mad about nothing.
I felt a little bad for him. The guy was obviously disabled in some way. But God is the main man that makes me keep going. So I'm cool. They've already got enough difficulties in their life. He always makes a way for you. Sherry, you're not going to like this, but one of the cars we booted yesterday is an MIA. Is you serious? Yeah. We have an MIA, which is, stands for missing in action. We lost a boot. Somebody stole one from us. It's illegal to take a boot off without authorization. To me, it's just really foolish, because if we catch them again, they're going to have to pay for the boot and for the tickets. We just look and, and see if we see any boots laying on the ground or look for the car. Maybe we'll find it. We know where it is. Um. But... And it's definitely gone. I can see it from here. They talk to you so nicely, like they're going to pay you. I just got to get it right, that's all. And then they take the boot. We don't see the car here, so what I'm going to get do is get out and just look in these side yards and see if I can find a boot. Since you guys are all hanging back here, all you dogs, I'm not going to bother you. Unfortunately, I didn't find it back there. But I'm going to go across the street here and see if we can uh, spot it maybe over here. Maybe they threw it over the fence. Sometimes they just heave it across in somebody's yard. Usually, they stick out a big yellow device among all these green plants here. So no luck. Ah, oh, that boot could be anywhere. That's it? Uh, I think that's it. We, we found, found the car. We found we the believe. car we was looking for. The boot was on this wheel. You can see he tore out the wheel. I'm just going to slap a boot on here real quick. I thought y'all took this. Your neighbor took the boot off. Yeah, I... Oh, there's a little chance stuff in there. Let me go tell him. She knows what's going on. We recovered the van, so now we have to call our supervisor and see what he wants to do about it. Okay, so I'm going to have to go around the corner to get the location. That gentleman is the owner of the vehicle right there. He completely ignored us. Somebody must have told him what was going on. Sir, the vehicle is behind the house at North 13th Street. 737 is at work. Take it 4 10 4, sir. We'll uh, wait for him. When somebody takes the boot off and we recover it, it can become a dangerous situation. Once you steal a boot, you know, you can't really be trusted. I bought the car of the guy. I, I told him you got tickets when, on it. And when you spoke to us yesterday, yeah. you should have gone down to the court. I went down and, and talked to that. I'm going back around and get this straight. She said, yeah. to get that boot back, you don't have to pay for it and if, stuff. If they get if it back without it. any damages, yes. Yeah. If you want to go tell that person to bring the boot back here. I'll be right back. All right. I just want to call our supervisor and let him know that the, uh, the owner of the vehicle is going to produce the hopefully undamaged boot. Well, the tow truck's here. They gave me the boot back. They pulled the boot out of the bushes. As you can see by the way the boot looks, it's quite bent. It's not supposed to have a bend in it like that. So most likely, they will charge him with a new boot. OK, one recovered MIA boot. Oh, it's one thing to know it, man. All right. Thanks to Mr. Garfield and his uh, detective patrolling. He found the MIA. My job is done. All right, we're ready to go. We recovered the MIA, recovered a slightly damaged boot. I think this is a pretty happy ending.